This video was made possible by my patrons, members, and my new clothing drop. More info at the end of the show. The trade show at Winter Clash 2024 was the biggest to date, taking up two floors this year with plenty of vendors and a bunch of new products. And I'm going to bring you all the information about them that you need to know alongside some stuff outside of Winter Clash. So let's just get into it. First up, we have some brand new skate modes, which is always exciting. And this is coming from a brand new company called Echo Skates. Now, Echo Skates describes himself as an urban skate brand that specializes in aggressive skates, free skates, and recreational skates. They are from the creators of the Anarchy Skate, which is mostly known for being an all right, very affordable skate. The aggressive skate was shown off in three colorways, a white, a black, and this crazy green and purple color. They are completely new modes, no reusing old skate modes. There's a new boot here, there's a new cuff mode, new sole plate mode, new frame mode, new liner, everything's new about them. They appear to be fully shiny. There's no like matte to them, but I've got conflicting information about this. I don't think these have the final finish on them yet. So if you're put off by the shiny, don't write them off yet. I think they're going to be matte. I couldn't confirm this though. They had some samples you can try on that with 3D printing and they were matte and it definitely is a different vibe. The cuff is apparently three-step adjustable. I couldn't see how this works, but that's how they describe it. The frame looks to be very much inspired by a Crate original frame and it looks to be very much an anti-rocker setup. If you skate this flat, you're gonna have a really hard time just by looking at it. They plan to release these skates in spring for the price of 250 US dollars for a complete setup which is a great price. Moving over to their free skates, this is also a completely brand new mold. It's different to the aggressive skate and they have a couple new frames at different ride heights and a brand new mounting system. The way the frames are mounted, they seem to slide in before screwing in. And the advantages of this is apparently you get a lower ride and a more secure, responsive feel. All their skates are GRS certified, which apparently means they're at least 30% recycled plastic. And that's everything we know so far. I'm looking forward to seeing if there's any plan for like a skate team or any edits. They have a little montage skating to pee around the skates down. They look quite nice, but I'd love to know what you guys think of the aggressive skates and the free skates. Let me know in the comments, you know. The next new skate we got was from Icon and it's their first ever pro skate and it's for the owner Montre Livingstone and there's two there's not just one colorway there's this beautiful cream colorway as well as this nice black colorway now this is kind of a new skate they're calling it the AG15 which is kind of an advancement of the AG10 which is their premium carbon skate the changes they've made to the skate include they've now ditched the 45 degree strap and instead put a second tongue giving it that very old school vibe they also changed the lacing a little bit to give it a little bit more wide fit and in Montre's word to make it look more like an old fat skate shoe. I assume the main reason for the name change of this boot is because of this brand new rockable cuff and looks very nice. In a complete setup, they come with Montre's other sponsors, a crate original frame and some wind wheels. And overall, they look very nice. Keeping the ball rolling with new skates, you also got a brand new Aeon for Richie Eisler. It's an Aeon 60 and it features a new 3M inspired shiny leather, which apparently shines in the light. I have no proof of what that looks like yet, but it does sound very interesting. Other than that, it's just an Aeon 60, which is an all around solid, very good skate. Over at the Factions booth, we got to look at the new skates, which is the Tactical V1 and a stealth black and a stealth white colorway and they look amazing. The Tactical V1 is a very nice affordable carbon skate with some customizations you can do to it. Now this isn't all the news about Faction, I'll see some more that is outside of Winter Clash that I'll talk about at the end of the show. Over at the Rosie's booth though, we got a look at the new Rosie's M12 Namikaze Yoto Goto Signature Skate, which is inspired by denim and is this nice light blue colorway and looks amazing. It also features the brand new Rosie's frame, which is a huge upgrade from their normal stock one. We also got another look at the Rosie's Deep Purple Nils Jansen Signature Skate, and I got some new info about them that I didn't realize, and that is that... Apparently there's like a glitter effect to the purple when you look at it in the light, which is a very nice touch. They also feature those new Rosie's frames and I'm pretty sure they're the first ones to come with the new Rosie's frame stock when you buy them. Speaking of news, Jansen, over at the Somatics booth, we got to see his brand new pro wheel by them alongside the new Julian Kudo wheel. And while we're still talking about news, I got to mention his new Magic Boots video because it was ridiculous. This freaking fish to backside backside transfer was like video game shit. And also Kudo's promo for these wheels is amazing as well and an absolute must watch go make sure you watch those ones they will be linked in the description and while we're on the wheel train you got to talk about the scooter company that's making a metalcore wheel for inline skates for an insanely cheap price this is a 60 mil wheel that's metalcore and comes with bearings and a pack of four for apparently 35 euros and 35 euros 35 euros for like a wheel with bearings wheel a four set with bearings metalcore Wow. Although when I went to try find them on their website, they were like $50. So I don't know what's going on there. I am New Zealander though, and my dollar is not very relevant. So I might just be 
out of the loop on conversions there. Over at the power slide booth, they were showing off the Kaiser Soul frame and the Kaiser suspension frames, which were actually showing off in last year's Winter Clash, but it's still not here. I talked to Matthias about this, and apparently they're still in the works. They've been changing the molds a lot to fix some problems that the people testing them have been having. They're hopefully in the final stages of testing them right now, and we should see them sometime this year. We ain't done talking about new skates yet either, because we over at the standard booth, we got to see the new standard skates, which notably have just arrived in the US, and I'm so jealous of all you dudes out there skating them right now it's not fair law showed off the 3d printed sample of the extra small size which comes in this millimeter so if you're hanging out for that size it should be coming out later this year if you want to be more sold on them i recommend checking out this video of sasha of his first impressions and also look how cool they look here when dylan hops set up here where he's customized the stripe and the cool clips he got on them these skates look amazing i can't wait for mine to arrive man it's gonna be so cool moving over to the red eye booth they have four new wheels for us three of them are new colorways we got a new colorway for the michael witzman new colorway for the chris farmer and a new colorway for the jake dotson and most excitingly a brand new team member which is hayden ball with a brand new profile wheel which is a tapered down 58 mil almost skateboard looking wheel very flat very stable looking another really cool tool spot of that winter clash was this bearing aligner tool made by kit blader derrick it's a kind of bullet shape that you screw onto the end of your axle that makes it so much easier to line up you're no longer going to be blocked by that bearing space it's a genius idea very easy and i think will save you a lot of time if you're changing setups a lot outside of winter clash some other products to note first up mary munos got another pro skate her second one it's this beautiful yellow aeon 60 shown off very well by jake from loco in this yellow bus massive congrats to her for her second pro skate from usd and also because she won winter clash 2024 which is huge another exciting brand new company in skate is coming from the everything new company and they're making a skate called the Tenek 50A, which is supposed to be a budget skate coming in complete setup for 220 US dollars. Supposed to be a great deal for skate shops. Be aimed a bit more at beginners, but also be fine for the core rollerbladers. And most importantly, it is a sole frame setup, a riveted on sole frame, which I absolutely love the idea of. It's early days now. The first samples are getting made for people who pre-ordered some frames earlier. And it's based on an old open mold and looks to be an exceptionally good budget scare. Can't wait to see more from it. Friend of the show, Jan from the YouTube channel Then and Now Blading, alongside a bunch of other monumental parts of rollerblading, has just launched his own brand called Dream Urethane. And it's not only filled with a bunch of brand new wheels that look amazing and some new merch and products, it also has a dream team. With just in the pro team, we have Michael Kraft, B Free, Andrew Broom, and Maddie Schrock, alongside a really solid amateur team with some of the people I love to see skating, like Victoria. They've already released a promo edit for these wheels, which is a very good watch. Definitely recommend it. Massive congrats to Yarn for this achievement here. I'm excited to see more from this brand. Coming from the company that gave us the verb for doing our sport, Rollerblade has a brand new liner they're releasing called the Nomad Liner, which is heavily inspired by the Intuition Liner, looking to be a good competitor for that liner. Power Slide released the best value for money aggressive skate I have ever seen with the new Playlife Reactor Skate. It's an old sway mold with the old sway sole plate and a Kaiser Fluid 5 for 149 US dollars complete. Having a skate this good at this price range is so good for blading and anyone wanting to get into blading. This would be an easy recommendation and just an insane value for money. Huge props to PowerSide for making this product. If you're in the market for some bearing oil and are sick of supporting skateboarding companies over rollerblading companies, then I have a rollerblading company that's making the perfect product for you. Some bearing oil alongside some brand new shirts and stuff coming from Ultimate Zero. Definitely check them out, friend of the show. Loco Skates are also planning to make some skates with a similar idea to the next skate it's supposed to be a budget point sole frame skate which is very exciting local is a huge really good skate shop that has great inside knowledge and i can't wait to see what they do there's a couple more skates to talk about though the first one is we're coming back to faction because a while ago they did loki leak that they're working on a plastic boot and it's going to be called the plastic v1 and it's going to be fully integratable with all their other parts the cuffs the sole plates and there's going to be seven shells. We're still in the works, not ready for everyone to see yet, but it's only a matter of time now. And I can't wait to see what they do as well. Believe it or not, there's actually two new skate brands I got to tell you about. And the first one is from Cougar. They got the Cougar Storm, which is their aggressive skate. Cougar is known for making rake and freestyle skates. And now they're branching out into aggressive skates with the Storm skate. Now, this is there's two versions of it. There's one that's UFS 
and one that has a soul frame. So it's the year of the soul frame. Now, these are still a while off. They're in the testing stages. There's some, a lot of things they want to fix about them, but it's another competitor and another option for aggressive skates out there. And the final skate of the night is from the brand Fractal Skates, and it's called the Umbrella Skate. Now, this skate is kind of like a shadow. It's designed to strap to your shoes, but it straps to any shoe, which I think is a huge one up on shadows. It's extremely customizable, including you can choose the groove you want to have on the soul play or just have no groove and make your own and overall it's a very interesting very diy project that looks very cool i'd love to see more from this brand definitely check them out if you're interested everything i mentioned today is linked in the description make sure you check it out if you're curious about anything i'd love to know what you're most excited about huge congrats to mary munos and Niels jans for winning winter clash 2024 let me know if you want to see some coverage of the skating and the event side if you found this video useful consider pressing the like button and subscribing for more videos like this if you want to support what i'm doing consider becoming a patron as well i cannot do this without the support of my patrons I also have a brand new clothing drop and my brand Laced in Z, which features some new shirts, some new sweatshirts, and my first ever pair of pants. They're elastic weights, black corduroy pants. They're extremely limited. I did a very small run because I don't know how this is going to go. I'd recommend going up a size to get it more of a baggy fit, but I think you'll like skating them. The first 10 orders get this exclusive golden swing tag on all the items they get. It's a, it's a gold sticker, and it's the only way to get this. Otherwise, you get the normal boring swing tag. And if you use the code WINTERCLASH2024, you get free shipping with no requirements, but there is only one, so you have to hurry. Other than that, if you spend 100 New Zealand dollars, you get free worldwide shipping. But anyway, thanks for hearing me out, and thanks so much for watching. I hope you get to go for a skate today. Do it if you can. And yeah, I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.